Welcome to our channel. Today we take a mysterious journey into the realms of folklore and legend to explore some of the most famous witches from around the world. But before we dive into their stories, be sure to hit the subscribe button to keep up with our mystery content. Without further ado, let's get started. Baba Yaga Baba Yaga, originating from Slavic folklore, emerges as a witch known for her sinister deeds, including theft, brewing dark potions, and devouring her victims. She is typically depicted as a monstrous and haggard old woman. However, she possesses dual aspects. Not only is she a malevolent figure, but she also serves as the guardian of the life-giving springs. Her abode is a rotating forest hut, which stands atop the legs of enormous birds, capable of moving at her command. The fence surrounding her dwelling is adorned with the skulls of the unfortunate. In legends, Baba Yaga is described as having the ability to travel through the skies in an iron kettle or mortar, which she steers using a pestle while clutching a broom in her free hand. This broom is used to sweep away any traces of her presence. She is believed to have the power to conjure storms during her flights and journeys. Often, she accompanies death on his quests and feasts on the souls of the recently departed. In tales, she is sometimes depicted as stretched out over her stove or filling her entire hut with her distinctive prominent nose. The first written mention of Baba Yaga can be traced back to a Russian grammar book from 1755, but her existence likely predates this appearance in the rich oral tradition of Slavic folktales, although she typically assumes the role of the antagonist in the stories where she appears. She is not a one-dimensional evil witch. She can also offer assistance and is recognized as a trickster figure, adding depth to her character. Jenny Greenteeth The legend of Jenny Greenteeth originated in the northwest of England, particularly in counties like Lancashire, Staffordshire, Cheshire, and Shropshire, where she is also known as Wicked Jenny. Jenny is a malevolent hag or witch who instills fear and terror in families, especially for children. Her eerie presence is often heralded by a chilling, whistling sound in the wind, serving as a foreboding warning to children and unsuspecting wanderers. Jenny is believed to make her primary home in bodies of water, especially those covered with duckweed, a common feature in these regions of England. Her realm encompasses various water sources, including rivers, lakes, ponds, canals, and even sewage systems. When she seeks her prey, Jenny is known to emerge from her watery domain and climb tall trees in the area, providing her with a superior vantage point to scout unsuspecting children. Her appearance is enough to invoke deep-seated dread, with her green, mottled, and pockmarked skin, sharp, crooked green teeth, disheveled and filthy hair, long and ungainly limbs, and a pronounced pointed nose. Jenny patiently awaits the approach of unsuspecting victims, seizing them with her extended arms and dragging them violently beneath the water. After submerging her victims until they drown, Jenny proceeds to devour them, employing her razor-sharp teeth to consume her prey. While there is no precise origin story for Jenny Greenteeth, some speculate that the legend may be rooted in a real person, while others believe she may have been created by resourceful parents as a means of instilling discipline. The Bell Witch This renowned figure in American folklore emerged as one of the most famous and enigmatic poltergeists in history. The legend centers around the Bell family of Adams, Tennessee in the early 19th century, primarily focusing on John Bell and his family, who reportedly experienced a series of terrifying and unexplained paranormal events. The entity, known as the Bell Witch, is said to have begun tormenting the family in 1817. The spirit exhibited a wide range of powers, including the ability to mimic human voices, speak in multiple languages, and display remarkable knowledge about the family's personal lives. The Bell Witch often targeted John Bell, causing him physical harm and ultimately contributing to his untimely death in 1820. The legend of the Bell Witch was meticulously documented by eyewitnesses, most notably school teacher and clergyman Richard Williams Bell, who kept detailed records of the supernatural occurrences. Word of the haunting soon spread, attracting the attention of curious onlookers and skeptics alike. One of the most peculiar aspects of the Bell Witch legend is the entity's apparent intelligence and malevolent nature. She would engage in conversations, make predictions, and engage in disturbing interactions with the Bell family. The haunting continued for several years, during which time it became a subject of great fascination and controversy. 
Even to this day, the Bell Witch remains a topic of intrigue and debate in the realm of paranormal studies. The legend has inspired numerous books, movies, and adaptations, solidifying its place in American folklore as one of the most enduring and captivating ghost stories in history. The Bell Witch's eerie legacy continues to mystify and captivate those interested in the unexplained and the supernatural. Rangda in Balinese mythology, Rangda is a formidable figure known as a demon witch and the queen of the Layaks in Bali. According to the legends surrounding her, she is believed to eat children and leads an army of malevolent witches in opposition to Barong, the leader of the forces of good. The eternal struggle between Barong and Rangda is a significant theme in traditional Balinese culture and is vividly depicted in the Barong dance, symbolizing the perpetual battle between good and evil. Rangda holds great importance, and performances depicting her confrontations with Barong or Erlenga are not only a cherished tradition, but also a popular attraction for tourists. She is typically portrayed as an elderly, nearly naked woman with disheveled hair, pendulous breasts, and clawed hands. Her face is traditionally adorned with a fearsome mask, featuring thongs and an elongated, protruding tongue. In addition to her demonic attributes, Rangda has been associated with the Hindu warrior mother goddess and with Kali, the Black Mother Goddess symbolizing destruction, transformation, and protection in Sanskritized tribal Hinduism. Despite her fearsome reputation in certain regions of Bali, Rangda is also viewed as a protective force, akin to how Kali is regarded as a benevolent goddess of fertility and destruction in the northeastern Indian city of Assam and Tripura. The name Rangda itself means widow in both the Old Javanese and Balinese languages. Rangda is also recognized as the Layak Queen, and is linked to the legend of Kalan Arang, a mythical witch who brought chaos to ancient Java during the reign of Erlanga in the late 10th century. Kalan Arang, often described as a widow well-versed in black magic, was believed to be responsible for damaging crops and spreading diseases among the local farmers. Morgan Lee Fei. Initially renowned as a proficient magic wielder and Merlin's most accomplished student, underwent a transformation in her character over time. While she had always been associated with magic, her portrayal gradually shifted towards a more malevolent persona, depicting her as a sorceress who delved into dark arts under Merlin's tutelage. According to Sir Kay, her upbringing might have been burdened by circumstances akin to her half-brother, Arthur, owing to their shared parentage. At one point, she even temporarily acquired great power by becoming a vampire through Absalom's influence. She is often described as a seductive and megalomaniacal fey witch, with a fervent desire to overthrow Arthur and reclaim the lands that once belonged to the fey, prior to being displaced by early human settlers. Morgan's methods are typically extreme, and she has been occasionally associated with the role of seducing Arthur and giving birth to the Black Knight Mordred. Despite the traditional belief that Mordred's mother was Morgan's sister, Morgos. In reality, Morgan predominantly serves as an advisor to her half-brother and his kingdom, Camelot, although her journey began on a villainous path. Morgan Le Fay was born and lived during the Middle Ages, and her significant magical abilities and healing skills played pivotal roles in various historical events. She also had the ability to transform into a bird, like an animagus. However, as she delved deeper into the dark arts, her ideals conflicted with her mentor Merlin turning her into his adversary. Morgan's parentage is traced back to her birth from the union of Gorlois, Duke of Cornwall, and Lady Igraine. Nonetheless, alternative sources suggest she might be the hybrid offspring of King Uther Pendragon and a fey being. Kaelich. This prominent figure in Celtic mythology is a complex and multifaceted witch-like character deeply rooted in the folklore of Scotland and Ireland. Often referred to as the Veiled One, or the Hag of Bear, Kaelich represents the embodiment of the harsh winter months and is associated with the changing seasons, particularly the transition from autumn to winter. In mythology, Kaelich is depicted as an ancient and powerful sorceress, often portrayed as an old hag with immense knowledge of magic and nature. She is credited with creating landscapes, mountains, and lochs, shaping the land according to her whims. Her arrival heralds winter, bringing storms, frost, and snow. In some stories, she is also a deity of wisdom and prophecy, possessing vast knowledge about the mysteries of the universe. Kailek's significance is not limited to her role as a personification of winter. She is a symbol of the cycle of life, 
death and rebirth. Legend has it that she ages backward, becoming younger as winter gives way to spring, showcasing the eternal cycle of nature. Her mythology is rich with tales of transformation, emphasizing the cyclical nature of existence. Kailish is often depicted carrying a staff or a wand, symbolizing her magical prowess and control over the forces of nature. She is deeply connected to the land, and her actions, such as striking the ground with her staff, are believed to influence the weather and the fertility of the earth. Kailiak's stories highlight the reverence ancient Celts held for nature and the changing seasons, portraying her as a powerful and enigmatic witch-like figure whose influence permeates the natural world, making her an enduring and captivating character in Celtic folklore. That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.